guys, Ryan's EDC Opinionarium back with another video tonight. We're looking at something pretty cool. So I got this guy on Kickstarter uh, for that early bird price. Um, I think I paid like 140 for two. I got an orange one for my dad because he's as much a Vosti fan as I am. So, um, And Raylight is, is pretty cool too. So this guy is the Vosti Raylight Rook. You can see the, the Raylight symbol with the kind of the Rook outline shining on the Vosti symbol there. That's really cool. This guy didn't come wrapped in any plastic. Uh, I will note that this is actually the, the same dimension as the standard um, Vosti box. So that's really cool. And they just had a Raylight X Vosti. So all the packaging kind of goes to to Vosti in this case, which is which is pretty cool. And um, this was specifically a collaboration between Yudong, the designer of Vosti, you know, and the co-owner, as far as I know, um, and Ray Yi, the owner of Raylight, who is, well, Raylight, you know. So we got two stickers here. We got... Vosteed and Raylight. That's pretty cool. Uh, from what I know, um, they've actually been friends since college. They shared a, I think it was a dorm. So yeah, I mean, it's really cool that they both, you know, they split and one went to flashlights, one went to knives, and now we have this beautiful combination of both. So at, as, um, as I think has been said, uh, the outer hull, the, the flashlight itself just the ergonomics and the design were done by you in this case. And the internals, as always, fall on Ray. So that's cool. Let's look at our little extras. I've got a little Ziploc here with a USB-C cord and a pair of spare O-rings. Um, probably some seals right there. Yeah, so this guy has, what's that, seven different tritium slots, which are really, really cool. Uh, you can also fill those up with just luminous, like, um, you know, rechargeable uh, light tubes. You can get those off, like, Alibaba and other places. So we have this cool uh, kind of dit 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 which almost look like tritium slots, too, but they're a little bit too shallow. Um really small i mean i have i have big hands but like there's the clip and that looks to be a standard ray light clip um i really do like that design though i think that's cool so let's get in here all right there's just a little battery contact let's have a look at this guy yeah that's actually bigger than a normal um, 18350, 1100 mAh, and it's rechargeable. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's actually Rate Light Vosti had branded. That's really, really cool. Ooh. Yeah, actually, let me compare this to a normal 18350. This guy over here. So here's a flat top. Yeah, look at that. You can kind of see. Yeah, it's just like taller. Interesting. So I'm going to throw this in here, see how it works. Um, and then I'm going to throw in the flat top because I heard they do work. Um, which would be pretty cool if you can have both. So, wow, that turbo is pretty great, actually. I could melt something with that. I'm sure that could start a fire. That's pretty cool. The click is is really, really clicky. It's kind of a zip to it, like the machining is still in contact when the wiggle side to side. 
gets pretty toasty on the front there. Oh, we have the glowing. Um, yeah, look at that. Just like the Triple Dawn. It glows inside. That's cool. I also really like this knurling. It's uh, it's interesting. Like it, you, you don't think of this as a tactile light because it's so small. And, like I guess you could hit someone with that, or you know, I mean, I probably wouldn't. But that's pretty cool. I'm gonna plop a D4K by Hank Light right here. So there's a size comparison between those two. We have a non-magnetic tail cap, as far as I know. Yeah, it's not magnetic at all. So yeah, there's a the size comparison. Mind you, this has a 21700 in it, so um, pretty small for a 21700 like that. All right, so we know that works. Now let's get into our battery. This is just a, an, it, oh, this is a VAP, so not an MRN. That's my bad. I normally order an MRN. So it looks like the spring might just reach it. I'm trying to be delicate with the threading. I don't want to damage it. I think this is all aluminum, except for the clip, of course. All right, that works. It's a little bit of a rattle. But it doesn't seem to turn off at all. So that's pretty epic, actually. And it has kind of a moonlight mode, which you can look right into without any issues. That's cool. Yeah. The, the TI Dom didn't really have a good moonlight mode, so that's that's really handy. I love that. Then, if I recall, there's a double tap to turbo. Yeah, that looks like turbo. That was. It's double tap to turbo, so that's pretty cool. Probably keep this on low myself. I'm going to plop the original battery back in there. And, you know, actually, I'm going to see how that rocks just with that guy, so. Yeah. All right, so I, I suppose there's not too much more to say here. Um, we have this clip, which looks to be pretty tight. Let me try that in my pocket. Oh, that slides right in my pocket without an issue. So if you're worried about the, the clip, I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. Let me grab this. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah. The, the TI Don, I had issues where it just, I could not get it to slide under my pants at all. It was way too stiff. So yeah, that's handy. And you can see just how much is going to be sticking under your pocket. And that looks pretty good, honestly. It's kind of deep carry. It definitely doesn't stick out there too far. Uh, it's fixed really well. I wouldn't say that's going anywhere if this is like a normal thin pocket. And I have slightly thicker jean pockets. I could try doubling this up seeing uh, how it reacts now yeah it just slides right on there and uh, still a pretty good grip so that's handy um yeah i mean the aesthetic is that of a rook um on a chessboard and I mean, wouldn't it be freaking epic if they just, like, came out with a whole line, like, the king, queen, rook, knight, pawn, you know, it would be so cool. Um, being what it is, though, um, I really, really do like this. And honestly, as of right now, I'm thinking I'm going to carry it for, like, a long time. Um, now, a lot of people are going to complain about just, you know, anodized, well, not anodized, excuse me. It's basically just painted aluminum. Um, and yeah, eventually it'll wear off. But I've actually always enjoyed the look of aluminum that's been stripped of its paint over time. When it starts to get those ridges that are silver. I, I don't know why, just that worn look is so cool. So I think the, the blue is going to wear really, really well. Well, in two weeks I'm going to be back with a follow-up review. And we will get this guy a uh, a full update and if i still like it i'm probably gonna wind up carrying it pretty much permanently uh or at least until the next cool light comes out we'll see you know i, I really do like this though i think it's a worthy addition and uh 
what's that, like 70 bucks a piece? I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it, especially if you load that up with tritium. Oh, that'd be cool. I'll also do a video on the UI here in probably just a couple of days when I have some time off. So, yeah. Um, that aside, check out Raylight. I'm not sponsored by them, but I am sponsored by Vosteed. So, please, if you want to make any purchases, use my link in the description below. You guys help me get stuff by doing that. I get a little bit of a royalty from that. So, if you feel like supporting the channel at all, Head down there, buy something from Vosted. It's worth it. It really, really is. They make some amazing stuff. And I'm really happy to see such a cool collaboration between, you know, a knife maker and a light maker like this. And um, I think this is a hit, to be honest. I do. I think this is awesome. All right, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video.